hi guys welcome back to my channel so a lot of people be asking me what i use in my smoothie so here i'm gonna show you how i make my smoothie well some of my smoothies so um here i have um pineapples diced pineapples i have strawberries This is frozen mango. I freeze my mangoes and ripe banana. It looks a little bit ugly. I have the super green powder with wheatgrass, kale, moringa, and spirulina. I also use the organic wheatgrass. It's a tablet form, but I ground it and I use it in smoothies. Also, I add cinnamon powder to my smoothie my elderberry extract it's super concentrated and it's very good for your immune system and stuff like that so i use like two tablespoon or a tablespoon of that in my smoothie it has a number of health benefits and medicinal properties this is bitter raw apricot seeds this is like almond with a bitter taste it has vitamins p17 which is good for your health. I also use black chia seed. I do not use, um, I use the black chia seed because um, it helps. It does help with digestion and stuff like that. And I use my sea moss. I swear by my sea moss gel. I made this sea moss gel by myself. I also have this Irish marsh well it's like the sea moss but it's in the powder form i use use it when i am not able to get the natural um the natural sea moss to make from scratch but i won't be adding that to my smoothie today and i use almond milk because i don't drink like the other regular milk so i use almond milk i put all these um ingredients together and um it it lasts for like four or five hours after having a smoothie i can go four or five hours without eating anything it makes you feel full and it makes you gives you a lot of energy it gives out a lot of energy i'm telling you when i have my i can have my smoothie and that's just it for the day i can go without eating anything else for a whole day after having like a cup of smoothie I've used like 10 to 12 of the um, apricot because it has this bitter taste and um, I don't like it that much but I use it for the health benefits. Same, um, chia seed and flax seed has the same ingredients basically. It has the same health benefits so I use it instead of the flax seed. And I use this wheatgrass it's it's in the powder form it came in tablets but I blend I like blended it out grounded it out I mean into powder form to make it easier to use I just add a little dash of cinnamon powder to give my smoothie a little flavor this is very good it's like very potent somewhat so I can you can use one tablespoon or you can use two tablespoons depending on the amount that you're making you can add it to your juice you can add it to your tea you can just drink it like that but I don't like it like that so I put it in my smoothie this I won't use I won't use it in my smoothie today so I'm just basically showing you what it is and if you if you choose to use this form then you use like a spoonful of it but I have stopped using it stopped using it since I got this one the gel so I made this gel from scratch if you can see in one of my previous videos how I make the sea moss gel for my smoothies it's in my smoothie in my oatmeal I use it in almost everything and you can just have like a spoonful of it if you want to like a um, spoonful it almost has this taste similar to applesauce except it's not sweet I pour my almond milk in you can use coconut water if you want to to make your smoothie you can use um, just plain water if you want to but I don't like fresh food I don't eat nothing fresh so I use almond milk if it's sweet milk and sometimes I use the coconut milk because I don't like nothing fresh. That's my reason. Sometimes I use like a sweet milk. So 
add sweet to my whatever I'm making or whatever I consume so here my smoothie is um finished it's very thick it's very rich and it's very very tasty so I get like this amount from from so this is one serving for me I use a straw and um, just sip on it so it takes me like 20 minutes to finish it I put it in the fridge to me. I save these jars like they come with pickles and stuff like that and I don't throw them away I save them and I use them for my smoothie bottles or juice cups or food cup. so it's inexpensive instead of going to buy going to the store to buy juice jars I got other cups that I use but I like these glass jars as I'm trying to like stay away from plastic as much as possible so here is my smoothie stay tuned for more videos about my smoothie and I do hope you enjoy this video please like subscribe and share